just by chance, the Booths had rented my sister's house. And so we were coming to the Do It Yourself and Sire here and said, do you want to come along? And they said, yes, indeed. Gisela and I sat round about here with the altos and Alan, my husband, sat with the basses. When they came out, they said, oh, this is wonderful. We're really on a high. But they also felt it was a kind of uh, universal gesture for peace. And we had no idea it went on working in their minds. When we came out of that church, we felt that we had uh, been through an experience that was hard to match. Those of you who want to take your music home with you tonight. I wanted my friends, the people in Chicago or whoever they were that liked music, who sang the Messiah at some time or other, to have the same kind of experience that we had had. Al Booth, founder of the Do-It-Yourself Messiah. A feisty, persistent man who fully understood the enrichment of music and made it his self-imposed mission to bring music free of charge. This way, please, if you don't have any tickets. To as wide a public as possible. His legacy is firmly rooted in the continuity of his endeavors. The International Music Foundation, which he created. The weekly De Myra Hess concerts, giving audiences a chance to hear rising young talent. The 300 plus interactive concerts given every year in the Chicago Public Schools. And of course, the annual event that brings us together today. As we join in singing Handel's great masterpiece, each of us, in a very personal way, is a participant in his vision. Al Booth was indeed a Pied Piper.